Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hi, I'm Radford Castro, and these are reviews of two particular accessories from Logitech. One is the ultra thin mouse, the T630, and the K810. Both powered by Bluetooth, and both meant for mobile users. Okay, so this is the Logitech 630, the T630 from Logitech, and it is an ultralight Bluetooth based mouse. But the real big thing is that it is gesture and touch based. So the, the surface of the mouse is actually using what they call a touch surface. So you can actually scroll through the web page just using the top of the mouse. And of course, you can click on it. The other cool thing, too, is that you can actually interact with the Windows 8 menus by swiping from the edges of the mouse from the left side as well as from the right. There's even a middle button that you could tap so you can manage and go through the navigations of all of the different apps on Windows 8. So at least for my two months of usage using this thing, it, it charges very fast, but also it quickly dissipates over time. So if you haven't been using it uh, over maybe two or three days, it's discharged. But it takes about a few minutes for it to get a good charge for about two or three hours of use. So as, if you have a portable backpack with a charger inside, this will help out a lot. Now, as far as the pros are, is that it's, it looks really nice. It is, it's extremely mobile and it has a quick charge. The nice thing too is that it has these nice built-in gestures that you can use with the mouse that I've demonstrated on the screen. Now, the cons is that the battery life is inconsistent and that the touch surface is a hit and miss. I guess one of the experiences I've had with this mouse is that when you are browsing through and doing simple things such as selecting a bunch of text, um, the problem is you're going to be sometimes touching the top of the mouse and not knowing that you're either holding it down or scrolling simply because it's just touch-based. And that's some of the issues that you're going to run into playing with this mouse. The price for this mouse is $69.99. And for that, this is definitely a try. Now, let's go on and talk about the keyboard. This is the K810 from Logitech. It is a backlit, illuminated Bluetooth keyboard that is definitely used for mobile use. And this doesn't use any battery just the same way. It is also charged with micro USB. The cool thing about this is that it also uses three different settings for Bluetooth. And as soon as you press the key, it just assigns the Bluetooth connection to that device. So you can connect it to up to three devices, a tablet, your PC, your laptop, whatever. And the connections are quite quick. The, the connecting to it is quite as easy. It has a connect button right in the back. And for the most part, it does its job. Uh, the cool thing too is that as you're typing, it is very fast and very responsive. I don't know how to type a sentence. Type a, a sentence. Because yeah, I suck. But anyway, for the most part, you can do all the normal things you'd normally do on a keyboard. And it's really responsive and has all the controls you would expect to have on a normal laptop as well as a tablet. The other thing I have to need to point out too is that the battery life is excellent on this thing. This thing can last four days. And the battery just probably takes up that entire area right here, this big huge square. So definitely this is something that you can hold on to your backpack and travel around with you and have it sit around for a month and it will still work. The pros is the fact that it is light, it's uh, nicely illuminated and has a variety of settings and extremely responsive. The only con is that it just doesn't have everything as a real keyboard should, but why not? So there really is almost minor quirks about this aside from its price, but then you get what you pay for. For $100 or $99.99, it is a buy. So between the two accessories, the mouse is a try and the keyboard is a definite buy. For Before You Buy, I'm Radford Castro.